good morning and welcome to today's maths class students so in the previous class we finished with the first chapter that is four digit numbers correct so today we'll be starting with the next chapter that is addition all right so we'll be just doing today we'll be doing a quick warm-up of what you have studied in addition previously and then we will see what is addition of four digit numbers without regrouping and with regrouping all right so let's first do a quick warm up on what all you know about addition so what is addition addition is nothing but totaling of two things together or bringing two things together for example if i ask you how much is 15 plus 5 so 15 plus 5 so you're adding these two numbers together you're finding the sum of those two numbers so 15 plus 5 is 20 right so the 20 is called a total or a sum all right or else what you can say for addition also i'll give you another example i can tell you that i have 10 chocolates with me and you have uh, six chocolates with you so to find how many chocolates both of us have together then what you will do to find the total number of chocolates that me and you both have together you have to add 10 and 6 that is 10 plus 6 is 16 so total number of chocolates will be 16 okay so this is the meaning of addition to find a total of given objects so now what we'll do we'll do a quick revision on what all you have learned in addition in second standard okay so let's uh, open our textbook and start with the first questions so page number 96 addition all right so warm up so warm up is nothing but just revision of what all we have learned so 270 first problem we have told add 270 plus 1 so what you will do first you will first add the ones place now in 270 ones place is 0 and in the next number that is 1 ones place is 1 so how much is 0 plus 1 it is 1 okay then the second number that is 1 has nothing in tens place and hundreds place so it means it is 0 so 7 plus 0 is 0 and 2 plus 0 is also 0 so the answer is 271 okay then moving on to the next one how much is 7 and 2 7 and 2 is 7 plus 2 so 2 plus 7 is how much it is 9 correct then how much is 4 plus 2 4 plus 2 is 6 and then 3 the 3 hundreds place 27 has nothing it means it has 0 so 3 plus 0 is 0 so that is 369 okay then adding of three digit numbers here both the numbers are three digit numbers so 5 plus 4 how much is 5 plus 4 uh, 5 then 6 7 8 9 so 5 plus 4 is 9 and then 1 plus 2 how much is 1 plus 2 it is 3 and 2 plus 3 is 5 so 539 right then 8 plus 2 now how much is 8 plus 2 8 plus 2 is 10 but what happens i can't write the greatest number i can write in one's place is 9 so i can't write 10 over there right i can't write two digit in two digits in one's place so what we'll do we'll write 0 and then we'll carry over 1 to 10's place. Okay, so 1, 10 we have, correct? So that 1, 10 will take it to 10's place. So that is 4, then plus 1, that is 5. And the 1 which we carried over to the one 10's place, that 1. So all together it becomes 6. Okay, then 3 plus 0 is 0. So 360 is our answer okay then next one 6 plus 2 how much is 6 plus 2 it is 8 and then 5 plus 2 what is 5 plus 2 7 right and 2 plus 6 is 8 so 878 okay then 7 plus 7 now 7 plus 7 when you add it you'll get 14 now again 14 is a two digit number so here again you can't write a two digit number in one's place you need to write only a one digit number there so what we'll do we'll separate that 14 ones as 1 10 and 4 ones so that 4 ones will write in ones place and the 1 10 which is left will carry over it to the tens place so that becomes 4 plus 2 6 6 plus the one which we carried over 7 so that is 
7. Then 3 plus 4 again is 7. So your answer is 774. Okay, so answer is 774. So this was question number 1. First answer is 271, second is 369, third is 539, then fourth is 360, then 878 and F1 is 774. Alright, then could find the sum of. So here they have given you a few statements. Let's read them and answer the questions. Okay, the smallest one digit number and the largest two digit number. So here you have to find the sum of the smallest one digit number. What is the smallest one digit number? It will be 1. And then the largest two digit number. How much is the largest two digit number? It is 99. Correct. So 1 plus 99. How much is it? It is 100. Okay. Then next question. The largest two digit number. Okay. When they tell you find the sum of. It means you have to add it. So, what is the largest two digit number? We saw it is 99. And the smallest three digit number. How much is the smallest three digit number? It is 100. Correct. So, 100 plus 99, what you will get? You will get 199. 199. Okay. Then the smallest three digit number and the largest one digit number. What is the smallest three digit number? It is 100. And then there was the largest one digit number, which is the largest one digit number, it is 9. So, when you add these two numbers, you will get 109, correct. And then the smallest two digit number, how much is the smallest two digit number, it is 10. And the largest three digit number, what is the largest three digit number, it is 999, correct. So, when you add this, what you will get? 10 plus 999. What will we get? We will get 1009. Right. So, we will get 1009. Then, the smallest 3 digit number that is 100 plus the largest 3 digit number 999. So, what is the answer? It will be 1099. Okay, then the smallest one digit number 1 and the smallest three digit number which is 100. So, your answer is 101. Okay, so 101. Next question 3. Add these numbers. So, 10 plus 25. How much is 10 plus 25? It is 35. Okay, so you have to just arrange the numbers in columns like how it is given in question 1 and then it becomes easy to add the numbers. Okay, so 300 plus 600 is 900, then 30 plus 50, which is 80, 80 plus 9, 89. Okay, then 400 plus 27 plus 33. So, what you will do first add 27 plus 33, which is 60, then 400 plus 60 will be 460, then 200 plus 50, 250, and then 20 plus 20 is 40. And 40 plus 48 will be 88. So, 300 plus 75 plus 2. So, first add 75 plus 2. You will get 77. That is 377. And then, 200 plus 250 plus 150. So, you add 250 plus 150 plus uh, first. You will get 400. Then, 200 plus 400 will be 600. So, this was your warm-up activity. Right. Now, what we will do is. Now, we will move on to the next page. Okay, that is addition of four digit numbers. So, first let us see what is addition of four digit numbers with regrouping and without regrouping and then we will come back to our textbook again. So, I told you what is addition. Now, addition of four digit numbers. So, first we have addition of four digit numbers without Regrouping. What does without regrouping means? It is nothing but without any carry over. Okay, so you are not, you don't have any carry overs in without regrouping. So here they were given an example of find the sum of one thousand four hundred and six 
and 2370. Now first what we will do, we will make a box like this, we will write the numbers in their place values. So in 1406, 6 is in 1's place, so we will write 6 in 1's place, 0 in 10's place, okay, then 4 in 100's place and 1 in 1000's place. And then 2370, in 1's place we have 0, so we will write 0 in 1's place, 7 in 10's place, 3 in 100's place and 2 in 1000's place, right, so this is what you get then what you'll do you'll first step is to add ones you always start from the lower place value so first we add the ones so six plus zero is six correct six plus zero is six then what we'll do we'll move on to the tens place zero plus seven how much is zero plus seven it'll be seven only any number you add with zero you'll get that number itself then four plus three so four plus three is 7 and 1 plus 2 1 plus 2 is 3 so the answer is 3776 so how you add uh, four digit numbers first you'll add the ones then you add the tens then after adding tens you add the hundreds and then you add the thousands okay so let's see one more example here find the sum of 1234 and 5712 so again first we'll write the numbers in their place values so one two three four so four is in ones place so we'll write it in ones place then three is in tens place so you write it in tens place then two is in hundreds place so we'll write that then one is in thousands place then what we'll do the second number five thousand seven hundred twelve two two is in ones place one is in tens place seven in hundreds and five in thousands so you write the numbers in their place values respectively then what we'll do we will add first we add the ones so 4 plus 2 how much is 4 plus 2 it is 6 then 3 plus 1 3 plus 1 is 4 2 plus 7 is 9 and 1 plus 5 is 6 so answer is 6946 so this is how you do addition without regrouping that is there is no carryover Next, we have addition of four digit numbers with three grouping. So, before we start this, what we'll do first, we'll solve the questions which are there on addition without regrouping. All right. So, page number 97 in our textbook addition of four digit numbers without regrouping. Okay. So, first, let's do the first one. Now, here, are question A. So, first what we did, first we add the, it's already, the numbers are already in the place value. So, we'll start adding. So, first we'll add 1's place. 1's place here is 1 and 3. That is 1 plus 3 is how much? It is 4. Then 3 plus 2, how much is 3 plus 2? It is 5. Right? And then 4 plus 3, which is 7. And 2 plus 1, 3. So, the first answer is 3754. Right, it is 3754. So, you can write 3754. Three, then, next number. We have, now again, we start with 1's place. So, what do you have in 1's place? 5 and 1. So, 5 plus 1 is 6. Then, 4 and 3. 4 plus 3 is 4 after 4 we have 5, 6, 7. So 4 plus 3 is 7. Then 1 plus 4 which is 5. So you will write 5. 1 plus 4, 5 and 3 plus 5 is 8. So your answer is 8, 5, 7, 6. Okay, then next one. 8 plus 1. How much is 8 plus 1? It is 9. So we will write 9 here. Then tens place. So when you add numbers in tens place, 2 plus 1 you get 3 then 0 plus 8 which is 8 and 2 plus 3 5 okay so the third answer is 5839 so these are the first three answers now question d e and f i want you to do for homework i want you to do it on your own for homework i will tell you all the answers in the next class okay so this was addition of four digit numbers without regrouping now we'll see what is addition of four digit numbers with three grouping. Okay, so the question here is first what you'll do first. Okay, 
So addition of four digit numbers without regrouping. Now here they have given the question as find the sum of 5878 and 3327. So first what you will do first the step is same. You always start from the ones place. So first we will add the ones place. Here what we again yeah before that you have to arrange the numbers in their place values. Okay, so once you do that, add the ones. Now, 8 plus 7. How much is 8 plus 7? You'll get 15. Now, I cannot write 15 in ones place. It is a two-digit number. Right, so what we'll do, we'll separate this. So, 15 has how many tens? It has one tens and five ones. Right, so what we'll do, this five ones will write in ones place. So, that will become five and this one tens will carry it over to the tens place over here so you'll get like this then 7 plus 2 is 9 and 9 plus 1 is 10 now again here we have 10 which is a two digit number and we cannot write a two digit number in tens place correct so this 10 is not now what you'll do this it's not 10 sorry it is 100 because when you add uh, when you're adding tens you're adding so it will be 70 plus 20 90 plus 10 100 so 100 so in 100 we have how many hundreds we have 100 so we'll write that zero here okay we'll write one zero in tens place and 100 will carry it over to the hundreds place here like this okay then we get 8 plus 3 11 and 11 plus 1 is 12 all right so then what you will do you got 12 now so we'll write 12 uh, so we write 2 and the 1 we carry it over to thousands place now in thousands place we have 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 1 9 so the answer is 9205 now another example 5879 plus 3551 now first we'll add the ones 9 plus 1 which is 10 now 10 is a two digit number so what we'll do we'll write zero ones in ones place and one 10 will carry it over to tens place okay so we regroup this 10 as one tens and one zero ones so we carried over that one then 7 plus 5 is 12 12 plus 1 13 now what you'll do you'll write three tens here and carry over this 100 to hundreds place okay now the same way you add 8 plus 5 for 13 13 plus 1 14 so here you'll write four hundreds as it is and carry over 1000 to the next place so 5 plus 3 8 and 8 plus 1 is 9 so the answer is 9400 30 so what you're doing here you're regrouping the numbers so when you when you got 10 in uh when you, after adding ones okay we got the answer as tens so that tens we regrouped it as tens and ones and the tens we took it to the tens place same way when we added the tens place we got answer as 13 so that 13 we uh, regrouped it as hundreds and tens so tens we wrote there only and hundreds we carried over to hundreds place so this is how you do addition of four digit numbers so now let's see a few problems on addition of four digit numbers with regrouping so that is page number 100 in our textbooks okay so here they have given you a few problems let's solve those problems now they have told uh, 2647 plus 3225 so first we'll start with ones so 7 plus 5 is how much it is you'll get 12 so what you'll do you'll write 2 in ones place and carry over 1 to tens so here 4 plus 2 6 and that carry over 1 when we add you get 6 plus 1 7 then there's nothing to carry over now so we'll just add 6 plus 2 8 okay and 2 plus 3 5 so you will get 5872 now next one 4 plus 3 7 so you don't have to carry over anything then 7 plus 8 is how much it is 15 so we'll write 5 and then carry over 1 so 3 plus 1 is 4 and 4 plus 1 is 5 okay then 1 plus 2 
3. So, 3557. So, here we have 3 numbers. You have to add 3 numbers. So, first when you add 1's place. So, we have 8 plus 7. How much is 7 plus 8? It is 15 and 15 plus 4 is 19. So, 9 will write like this and then carry over 1. Then 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 3, 6 and 6 plus 5, 11. So, we will write 1, carry over 1. And then 1 plus 5 is 6 and 6 plus 8 is 14. Plus this 1 which we carried over that becomes 15. Then we will carry over 1 again here. So, 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 1, 6 and this 6 plus the carry over 1 gives you 7. So, 7519. Okay, then 8 plus uh, 3 plus 8 is 11 and 11 plus 5 is 16. So, you carry over 1. Then 4 plus 1, 5. 5, uh, 5 plus 5, 10. 10 plus 4, 14. Okay, so 1 plus 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4 and 4 plus 1 is 5. Alright, then 2 plus 3, 5 and 5 plus 4, 9. So, 9546. Now, here the last two problems. 5 plus 5 is how much? It is 10. So, we write 0 carry over 1. So, 3 plus 1 is 4 plus 1 carry over 1 is 5. And then 7 plus 4 is how much? It is 11. So, we will carry over 1. So, 2 plus 2 is 4 and plus 1 is 5. Right. So, 5, 1, 5, 0. Now, 2, 7 and 8. So, 2 plus 7 is 9. Okay. And 9 plus 8 is 17. So, 7 ones and 1 ten. So, we will carry over 1 to tens place. Then 4 plus 0 is 4. And 4 plus 2 is 6. And plus 1 is 7. Then 8 plus 5 is 13. So, we will write 3 and carry over 1. Then 3 plus 1, 4. 4 plus 7 is 11 and 11 plus 1 is 12. Now, here you can write a two digit number. So, we will write it like this. So, your answer is a five digit number here. So, 12,377. Now, I want you to do question 2 for homework in your notebooks. Okay, you have to write this in your notebooks. So, the same way now here 2153 plus 3159. So, what you all will do? You all will Write it how it is shown above in boxes in their place value charts and then add the numbers. So, solve question number 2 for homework on page 100 and question number D, E and F on page number 97 for your homework. Alright, so this was addition. Alright, I uh, will continue addition further in the next class. Alright, thank you students.